Welcome back to Homestead is Freedom. I'll be narrating these videos, so I hope there's not too much background noise. The squash vine borer moth is just one of the pests that can cause significant damage to your squash plants. Now, I had some of these visitors to my garden last year, and I want to show you some of the damage they caused. This was my acorn squash before they got established. This was my acorn squash after they got established. Now here's a picture of the squash borer larvae, and you can see that he made his way into the acorn through the vine. Let's get him out and get a closer look at him. Now squash vine borer larvae can range in size from one to one and a half inches, and they overwinter in the ground. They emerge the following season as moths in mid to late spring, and they find mates and they wreak havoc on your squash plants, and the cycle starts all over again. Now here's a good look at him right next to the squash plant that he was making a meal out of. So now that we're familiar with the larvae, I want to take a look at the plants and show you some of the damage, visible signs that they'll cause. Normally you'll see wilting of your leaves and eventually dead leaves like these. Another sign is damage to your vines. You'll also notice a substance called frass. This can be found on the inside or on the outside of the vine plants, and that's what the frass looks like. Now this other vine that I'm showing you now is a good example of a round entrance hole. And over here to the left, you're going to see more of that telltale frass on the vine. Now what I did was I got a utility knife and I made a slice into the vine. And we were able to find our star right there, chopping away at what's left of this plant. Let's get him out and take a closer look. Now there are some things you can do to prevent these guys, and I'd like to go through that on the next couple of slides. Now if these pests, they can be eliminated early on, your squash plant might just survive. You can extract the caterpillar or the larvae that's causing it, cut them out of the vine, and then bury the vine back in the ground. Your plant might just retake root and regrow. But mine were way too far gone for any of that to be, make any difference. Now on the next one, there'll be several suggested methods I'll give you. Not all of these can be 100%, but they all go towards helping. Plant-resistant varieties like butternut squash, do crop rotation, use row covers. Insect pheromone kits you can also use. If you find a borer, cut the vine, remove the borer, and bury the vine in the ground. And as a last resort, you can always use chemical or organic pesticide. If you found this video beneficial or useful, please comment, please share, and thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.